there's a way to make an entrance. <laughs> My destiny. It was now a conspiracy of witches. Download Veely today. What's our ETA at Batnay Island, X? 30 minutes. Good. Does you have the medical supplies loaded into the rib? Swain and the remote area nurses think of that now, so I'll check out her going. I'll lead this shore party, X. We've got a tight turnaround. I want to thank you again, Commander. Always a pleasure. We like to honour our international welfare obligations. Well, medical supplies are one thing, but you weren't obligated to give me a lift. Thank you for that. From memory, your clinic's a bit of a trek. Yeah, it is, sorry. We're walking all the way. No, El Monero will be around in a minute to pick us up. See, nothing's changed since we were last here. What? It's always been this flash. I volunteered, so I'm not complaining. I love it here. Very hands-on. I like that. Hey! No, 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 get rid of that! It's a grenade! Throw it! on that spot. So, we have to lose the shirt. There's trauma to the head and torso, multiple lacerations, microparticles, shrapnel. We have blood plasma in the new supplies, right? Yeah. We're going to need all of it. You've got a steady hand for this stuff. I'll have to, won't I? Why are kids playing with a live grenade? You would have thought it was inactive. The island is full of old weapons. All the men here are heavily armed. Tika! Saul, I'm sorry. Who did this? No one, Saul. Your son was playing with a hand grenade. This is no one's fault. Listen, we have work to do now, OK? Everything's going to be all right. Sir, you have to let them help your son. Keep your pressure on that. I'll grab a sailing bag. Sir? Sir, come check this out. going on here? No idea, but they got guns. Sir. You man. My name is Commander Mike Flynn, Royal Australian Navy. I don't know what it is you want, but we have an injured boy inside. The boy will die. Not if we can help it. And what do you want? No! Arrow, pull back, pull back! Can't say that anything's actually penetrated the skull. Yeah, he's lucky. But his eyes. Uh, hopefully it's just dust impact, but it did have a lot of force. I 
idea of normal sailing. You never know around? I don't know, they're probably waiting until we leave. Back off! Drop your weapons! Let me handle this. Two dads? Let's call this right now. Listen. There's no need for weapons, okay? Let's just talk about this. Sort it out. Things seem to be quietening down. How's the boy? Still alive. Any closer to that grenade and we wouldn't be saying that. Not sure about his eyes. Corneas might be scarred. Keep doing what you can. So what happened to your son was an accident. It was no one's fault. Still, your son is alive. What's the issue here? Ifo is young and has no respect. Ifo. There'll be no more of this. Do you understand? Do you understand? Yes. Go. Tell your friends not to come back here. And you can't give me an exact ETA? Not at this stage. Yeah, no, I understand. Roger that. Out. It's a local medivac. And it's the only one, can't give me an exact ETA, but it's going to be several hours. That was Efo and a group of younger men? Yes. They're the young bucks. Any opportunity to stir things up? Why? They want a new chief. And Sewell is the chief? Yeah. The older men want certainty, the young want change. Sometimes guns get waved around, no one really gets hurt. And you keep coming back to this? I'm the only medical help for hundreds of miles. I'm safe. Swain, you and Dutchie will stay, supervise the medical evacuation, and keep an eye on Sarah. She seems to think there's nothing to worry about. I wish I had her confidence. Things do seem to have settled down, but we've got three islands to drop supplies to, so... We'll be right, boss. The chopper from Port Moresby should be here in a few hours. We'll be back in six. Keep the sat phone, Rove. Yes, sir. Hey, how is he? His pulse is still irregular, but his blood pressure's getting closer to normal. You think he's made it through the worst? Looks like it. Thanks for helping. <laughs> hey, well done, you won. You were terrific. <laughs> you know, terrific really means to fill with terror. Yep, yeah, that's what I meant. <laughs> Listen, you should probably go and get some sleep or something. Dutch and I can keep an eye on him. Are you kidding? I've got all these supplies to unpack. Okay. Party close up boat deck for medical supply drop on Catton Island. There you go, mate. Oh. <laughs> gonna have to do something about those two left feet, bird. You okay? <laughs> Did you want to go back to the rib? Roger. You uh, need to get out of those wet things. Ha uh ha. -huh. Keep moving. Bird? Are you okay? What's wrong? 
feel like I've been run over. Can I get you some water or...? I'll be fine, I just need some air. Or maybe you can give me something. No, it's Swain's gig. He'd need to authorise it. Uh, huh? uh, yeah, what's wrong? I feel like something's stabbing me. She's been vomiting. Uh, huh? uh, She's in a bad way. Did you cause this? I... Oh, I've got uh, no idea. I feel tingly all over it. It hurts. She is vomiting and she has severe stomach cramps. Uh huh. And what's the temperature? 42. Uh, okay. Um... Look, give her 100 milligrams of paracetamol. You've got to keep her hydrated. But look, she really needs uh, proper medical attention. Yeah. Can we divert the medevac helo that's coming here? Uh, see what I can do, Swain. Can you hold on a sec? Swain, it's the CEO. Bad news. The medevac helo. It's not coming. What, not at all? Well, we're not at home now. We work with what we've got. HMAS Newcastle is about 10 hours away from our position. They have a doctor, full medical setup. Our priority will be to get Bird there. How are things at your end? Oh, yeah, the boy's holding his own. He's unconscious, but his vitals are improving. Look, Swain, this means we won't be able to get back to you until early tomorrow morning. Then we'll evacuate your patient by sea. Yeah, understood, sir. That should be fine. And the situation here hasn't changed. Right, well, we'll keep in contact hourly, sir. Is there a problem? Medivac Hilo's not coming. A bird's sick. Thanks. Welcome. <laughs> I know it's selfish, but I'm glad you were forced to stay. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Do you want me to open that for you? Oh, that's good. I must get lonely out here sometimes. Particularly being the only, um... Whitey? I was going to say medical person, but, yeah. Yeah. I think you're very brave doing what you do out here. Does your partner ever visit? Partners aren't exactly compatible with this lifestyle. It's hardly the Maldives. Yeah. An artist. Yet here you are, eh? Do you ever wish you weren't married? Yeah, sometimes. Hmm. Sir? I, I just heard about Bird. Oh, I just need to know what happened on the island. Did she eat anything? Um, no, I didn't think... No, she didn't. Drink anything? Only from her canteen. Oh, that, you that... sure? Po positive. Okay, thanks. So, how serious is it? I really don't know. His pulse is getting stronger by the minute. You can almost say that he's stabilised. Thank God. What about his eyes? To wait until they recover from the shock, but his corneas are probably going to be scraped and scarred. So will he see? We won't know until we change the bandages. Don't know the react! We have to be patient with these people. Understood. I don't know that you do. The only way I can do good here is if I remain completely neutral. I get it. I'll... So, Swain, he's been shot. What happened here, Sue? What have you done? They're coming. They find me. Me. Uh, pressure bandage. Look, it's only torn through his skin and muscle. Jeez, you're lucky. He's still bleeding. Yeah, we need to get it closed up. Dutchie, can you get me a fresh dressing? Yeah. You clean, I so? Sound like a good team. We're getting way too much practice. What was that? Come on. 
I don't understand. Do you want something? Point to it. Bird, can you feel that? What is it? Paralysis. Is there anything I can do? Anything you need? Uh, no, two days, there's nothing. I've done everything Swain told me to. Are you sure you have no idea what happened to her on the island? Sorry, no. Okay, we have the sat phone bomber. You don't have to do this on your own. I'll call Newcastle's medical officer. drinking from it while the ex in charge were walking to the village uh, then she threw some at me um, that water came from on board it's not contaminated yeah, no no, no but, one else is ill but it's full now see what if she filled it up on the island bird did you drink water from that island ex I think we've got something so it looks like the water on the island might be contaminated. Without analysing it. Wait. On the boat deck, there are still some medical supplies we haven't delivered yet. Chances are there are water testing kits. Right, sir, I'm into that. Has Bird responded in any way to what we've been giving her? I don't know, sir. But, sir, Bomb seems out of her depth. Thanks, Ryan. If my son dies, I think they can take over. We've got visitors. Give us the old man! You know I can't do that. You should leave. He shot at me. He is old and stupid. You're not taking him. He is my patient. And you're not coming in. We want Swin. Hey, back off. Back off. Now! Leave. All of you, leave! You shouldn't have done that. What choice did I have? I might have been able to talk him around. Well, it didn't look like that was worth it. But now you've gone and drawn a gun on him! To him and his friends, we've taken sides. We're not neutral anymore. We've used a total water quality test kit and so far we have had negative readings on lead, copper, zinc, sulfates, pesticides and nitrates. Uh, the bacteria test won't show us conclusive results for at least another 10 hours, but so far it's showing us nothing. So we, we don't understand it. We've followed the instructions to the letter. She's getting worse. Guns. Yeah, well, that explains why they're so cocksure of themselves. They're like young lion saints, and the old bull is weak enough to be challenged. People are leaving the village. We have to head to the beach. No, they'll be expecting that. Uh, there's got to be somewhere else that we can rendezvous with Hammersley. Well, there's only one other beach on the other side of the island, around 12 miles. That's going to have to do. Sewell, we have to head off now. They'll kill my son. He's still unconscious, Sewell. He may be unconscious for hours yet. My cousins are nearby. They can help to carry him. We'll need extra pain medication for Tegan. It'll be hard when he wakes. Go get your cousins now. I don't think we have much time. I hope we're on the right side. Heading where? That depends. What's your ETA? 
We're still en route to HMAS Newcastle. Still two hours away from that rendezvous point. Is it possible to return to us directly? First condition has deteriorated, so that's not an option. We'll need to find a safe place to spend the night or rendezvous in the morning. Copy that. We're crossing to a beach on the opposite side of the island now. Keep us posted of any developments, Dutchie. We'll do the same. Understood. Out. See if there's any way Newcastle can make their way towards us to save time. Yes, sir. He's strong. Let's move. Okay, we have to go now. Our medic will examine the patient and make an evaluation. Over. We'd appreciate that. Is he ready to come across now? Affirmative. Stand by to receive. useless. We're doing everything we can. Just hang in there, bird. It's not long now. Bird? Bird. She's unconscious. I'm way out of my depth now. Uh, Bomber, this is Lieutenant Rogers. Oh, He's the MO from Newcastle. Man. She just lost consciousness. Her pulse is 120 and her BP is 80 over 55. Okay, you've given her fluids? Yep, but I don't know how much she's retained and she keeps vomiting. She's in respiratory distress. Grab the oxygen. We'll deal with this quickly. And then we'll get her out of here, okay? Yeah. Keep it moving, every second counts. That's it. Okay, let's go. Move. Move. You well. We've done all we can. Signal here. The hills must be too high. Satellite signal too low. Need to get higher. Uh, must wait. No, I don't want you to lose any time. Be right behind you. Show off. Come on. Sir, Dutchie. Dutchie. Reporting in, sir. 
transferred Bird to HMAS Newcastle and we're on our way back now. How is she? She's still serious, but she's getting the best attention. What's your situation? Well, we haven't seen any hostiles in the last hour. We're making our way across the island. OK. I estimate a rendezvous at map reference Alpha Echo 35 at around 0900. Keep a low profile until then. Will do. Out. the island. My head hurts. We'll rest soon, Tekin. Right now we have to keep moving, okay? Well, we'll push on until we're up this hill. And then we can... Swim. I just want to talk to you. We have no problem with you. Oh, look, I can see. Uh, oh. Hello. Hey, look. <laughs> uh, it's Pedro. It's Pedro. So is this uh, friends or family? I don't know. I've never seen these men before. Well, you just approach them anyway. Yes. <laughs> OK. Dutchy. Hey. You all right? Kato says he's sorry. He didn't hit you that hard. Oh, oh, hard enough. I must go with them. I'll take Tekin. No, Saul, I'm sorry. You're not taking Tekin. He's my son. So Tekin needs to be in a hospital. His eyes are going to need surgery. Father. Brothers, we will lead the others away from you. Be brave. I'll take care of him. Be careful, Saul. Keep your wounds clean. Use clean bandages, OK? Watch out for her. She talks too much. <sighs> Such people. You must stay with me. Look after my son. See you, Pato. Yeah, thanks, Pato. Right. We're not going anywhere in a hurry. No. It gets dark quickly here. All right. Let's look around for a spot to set up camp. Yeah, we've rehydrated her. We've given her antipyretics and lots of antibiotics, but it doesn't seem to be a bacterial infection. What does that mean? Well, it means it's very hard to treat an illness when we don't know what's actually causing it. Oh. Look, she's holding her eye, but it could still go either way. Well, thanks for the update. Let us know if there's any change. Yeah, we'll do either. So we've been trying to raise Dutchie on the sat phone. There's no response. Right, let's just hope it's a technical glitch. Keep trying. When we get within range, use the radio. Sir, that'll be nine hours and 13 minutes. Thank you, Robert. Scared. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. We're just gonna quickly check your eyes, okay? Let's have a quick look. Okay. Relax. Okay. okay. You open your eyes very slowly, just. Everything's dark. Yeah. It's it's night time, Matt. That's okay. Give your eyes a minute to adjust. <laughs> you can see us? That's good. That's good. All right, mate. That's enough for now. Your eyes need to rest. Just shut them again. 
Close them up again. Have a nice beauty sleep, Twinkle Toes. Yep. How you been? Scouting. There's nothing out there. You should still be taking it easy. Well, what are the odds of that? We've still got six miles to travel. We're, um, ready to move out when you are. Right, OK. Um, we'll move out in ten minutes, eh? Anything happened between you two last night? <laughs> Just asking. She's nice. And I'm married. Any news? Still nothing. OK. Let's assume they're still heading to that beach as per our last call. Row, ETA to radio range. Uh, possibly an hour and a half. Good. Uh, depends on their location. If they're in a valley, it might be a bit, a bit longer. And if they're up a hill, a bit, a bit shorter. You sleep last night? A bit. But it's going to be okay too, Dad. You've got to keep believing that. I'm trying. Come on, mate. I know she's got two left feet, but she's got thick skin. She's tough. Oh. Oh. Right. Do something about those two left feet, bird. Judge, you're a genius. She fell. I need to speak to that medical officer on HMAS Newcastle. Yes, well, that request will have to go through the CEO. No, 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 there's no time. I have some information that might make a difference. What kind of information? The kind that medical officer needs to hear. Now, come on. Newcastle, this is Hammersley. I need to speak to the medical officer, over. She fell. Uh, yeah, she fell into the water, uh, into a salt water creek on the island. Um, uh, one of her knees hit something just below the surface. I think it was the right one. Uh, it's just she reacted to something, like a sharp pain. Yeah, there's some information here. Yeah? It looks like a tiny bite mark. Thanks for that, I'll get back to you.
shore party are you receiving? I heard of cone shell poisoning? That's the report that I got from HMAS Newcastle. It's a marine snail. Yeah, Very I know what they are. Highly venomous. How do they work out it was a conefish? They got additional information from two dads. Hammersley to shore party, are you receiving? Hammersley, are you receiving? We're under enemy fire. Repeat. Under enemy Charge. fire. Charge. Radio, run. Dutchie, can you hear me? Receiving you, Hammersley. Oh, what's your position, Dutchie? I estimate we're approximately 500 metres west of the beach. We're being pursued by hostiles who have fired on us. We have wounded. OK, Dutchie, we're nearly there. We'll make it quick. Get those ribs in the water, Ed. Sir. Away landing party, away landing party. Once he gets to the hospital and has an operation. So I should heal in time, mate. How about you? You all right? No, not really. Sarah's been three years of her life on that place. They've been trying to help these people, and now they're just going to end up hacking each other to death, and it's just such a such a waste. No, Sarah's life wasn't a waste, mate. You know it. This boy wouldn't even be alive if it wasn't for her. And whatever she meant to you, it's a gift. Uh, you wanted to see me, sir? See that? You did very well. I know you don't take compliments well. And let's face it, sometimes you don't do much to deserve them. But this time, you did a great job. Two favourite people are here. Favourite? Because I brought you flowers. 
No, because apparently I have you both to thank for getting me back on my feet. <sighs> hey, it's good to see you looking so good. So where are my flowers, hey?